Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we are going to talk about lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries that are in your smartphone and are they really safe? Uh, these lithium ion batteries are not only in your smartphones but even in your laptops and they power almost all the electronic stuff that we have but are they really safe? Because every now and then we keep hearing stories of uh, some smartphone exploding or the battery bulging out and why does this happen? I'll uh, talk about that and what are some of the things that these manufacturers can do to migrate these issues and uh, 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 actually if you have noticed in the recent times uh, just take uh, just let's go back a little bit if you uh, go back about five or six years ago then the smartphone batteries if you have noticed uh, used to have uh, a milliampere capacity of anywhere between 1400 to 17 or 1800 but these days if you notice the modern smartphones they're having uh, uh, batteries with higher capacities that is 3000 milliampere 3500 milliampere even 4000 milliampere so the density uh, is increasing and again uh, it's a trade-off because these days we want modern smartphones to last way longer we want full day battery life so these manufacturers are packing uh, more dense batteries but again when things go wrong uh, if your battery is a lot more dense things it can blast and things like that can happen and it's very rare that this happens and it's not just uh, limited to one brand or other for example I'll uh, show you some slides and even uh, what do you say I'll have links for these sources in the YouTube show notes you can check that uh, for example we all know about the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 what happened I feel there uh, it was a problem with the battery itself how they manufactured that's why many of the Galaxy Note 7 exploded it was not a one-off incident uh, hundreds of uh, Note 7 uh, were exploding and that was the reason Sa Samsung actually recalled uh, the Note 7 and they stopped uh, selling it so that's an exception that was a fault itself in the battery but again if you talk about other smartphones let's uh, take example of popular smartphones like iPhone from Apple even iPhone 6 uh, had problems it exploded uh, for example uh, if you see this uh, this is a uh, uh, from BGR I'll have the source uh, it said that uh, this happened somewhere in China and I, uh, Apple acknowledged that uh, the iPhone 6 unit was affected. It even happened with the iPhone uh, 7 and uh, this is a clip from uh, uh, the Telegraph and uh, iPhone 7 it uh, said that uh, it exploded when the owner was uh, sleeping and here are some more. Uh, pictures that were posted on uh, Twitter so again it's not restricted to one manufacturer or the other for example recently uh, even the Lenovo K4 uh, note in India exploded here is a picture that was posted on Twitter and uh, also uh, the Samsung Galaxy J5 one of the unit uh, uh, had uh, problems and it exploded so as you can see it's not limited to one manufacturer or the other and just recently now that uh, thing with the Redmi Note uh, 4 uh, one of the units the battery had a problem and it uh, sort of uh, exploded so again as you can see it's not uh, just restricted to one manufacturer or let's say if it's a low uh, budget uh, phone manufacturer it's happening to everyone and but again it's a very rare uh, scenario for example for the redmi note 4 i was digging uh, a little bit and um, xiaomi has sold over 1.5 million redmi note uh, 4s and this is the first time that we are seeing something like this so it's a very rare incident even for the iphone 7 if you saw iPhone has been sold millions of units have been sold but uh, we saw that iPhone 7 issue also so yes these smartphones are sort of exploding but it's one in a million or something like that it's not like every smartphone is having a problem and I feel this is happening due to the way the current lithium ion batteries are uh, built and let me uh, show you this very crude diagram of the current uh, lithium ion batteries that we have uh, sorry for this crude diagram this is a typical battery that we have we have the uh, positive electrode and the ne negative electrode uh, in the lithium ion battery generally most of them we have the lithium metal, metal oxide on the positive end and the carbon on the negative end and in the middle we have a thing called the electrolyte currently all uh, lithium ion batteries and lithium polymer batteries have this electrolyte which is in liquid form 
and uh, this works very well uh, you can charge uh, these batteries uh, well but again as it's a liquid if uh, it is damaged it can cause a short circuit and that can cause an explosion uh, it's like any if you take an electrical wire uh, put from the positive to negative what will happen explosion will happen similar things happen with the lithium ion batteries so why do these lithium bat uh, uh, ion batteries explode uh, again if the battery is punctured for example the battery is punctured with a piercing object or something and this liquid electrolyte it is punctured then it causes a short circuit and due to that the battery will simply explode so uh, another thing is that overheating of the battery can also have uh, problems and this can cause uh, a thermal uh, runaway for example uh, there is a wiki article about the thermal uh, runaway and they said this uh, thermal runaway uh, is actually prone uh, on the lithium ion and lithium polymer battery a lot and in 2006 uh, batteries from Apple, HP, Toshiba, Lenovo and Dell uh, for uh, laptops were recalled due to that. So a thermal runaway is generally happens uh, if the battery overheats and the temperatures go over 80 degrees centigrade then it can have an issue but these days most of the batteries do have uh, sensors and circuitry in that that continuously monitors the temperature and they avoid that uh, but again yeah overcharging the battery if it's a bad charger or something this can also happen so it's always advisable to use original charges don't go for those cheap uh, what do you say Chinese uh, charges I'll give you a practical example of one of my friends uh, something like this happened about two years ago I'll talk about that later and the third thing this is a little bit technical this is called dendrites formation whenever you use a ba uh, battery uh, the uh, what do you say ions move from the positive to negative and uh, this happens but uh, due to that uh, there is also a little bit of dendrite formation that is uh, done it's very minute uh, and generally it does not affect but sometimes uh, this dendri uh, dendrite formation can become so hard that it can also pierce the electrolyte and again if that happens the short circuit happens and uh, the battery can blow up this does not happen a lot this is very remote uh, chances of this one happening but yeah this can also happen as the dendrite uh, formation can puncture the elect liquid electrolyte that we have in the battery and also again improper charging and overcharging again this comes back to if you're not using authorized chargers correct chargers uh, then this can happen so if you have noticed one thing is very common uh, in this the main cause of explosions is this uh, liquid electrolyte because it's a liquid if it gets punctured or something happens then the battery it the short circuit happens and the battery will explode uh, so uh, why don't these manufacturers move from a liquid to a solid electrolyte that is the answer and yes if they move from a liquid electrolyte to a solid electrolyte uh, chances of uh, uh, this battery explosions will be minimized quite a bit uh, there are some new technologies that are uh, experiment with, uh, with the solid electrolyte I was just googling a little bit and I found this actually a video I'll leave the link for that video in the YouTube show notes after finishing uh, this video uh, you should watch that video it's a, a video by David Poe he was the reporter of New York Times and uh, uh, the, this new uh, this gentleman has created a new type of battery instead of using this electrolyte uh, liquid electrolyte uh, they are actually using a plastic electrolyte and uh, in that if they even cut the battery or <laughs> puncture the battery because it's not a liquid the battery is not exploding again uh, I'll have the link for that video in the YouTube show notes you can check out that and also there is a lot of research going on uh, about uh, this uh, actually John good enough uh, is regarded as the father of lithium-ion batteries he invented the lithium-ion batteries about 40 years ago and he is also being uh, working on this solid state type battery and they are experimenting again with this solid electrolyte and uh, they are working with the glass electrolyte uh, so yes there are options and if manufacturers actually move from liquid electrolyte to solid electrolyte chances of these uh, battery explosions should be minimized quite a bit in fact uh, uh, the uh, David Pogue video that I was mentioning uh, they demonstrated it on video he was poking it he was cutting the battery then also the explosion didn't happen so I feel if these sort of uh, technologies can be commercialized I do feel moving from a liquid electrolyte to a solid electrolyte should make our batteries a lot uh, safer and uh, you might ask why aren't uh, manufacturers uh, manufacturers opting for this I feel again they need to test this technology uh, quite a bit and also 
uh, it requires new big investments in this new technology and i feel it's a chicken and an egg situation uh, nobody is uh, trying to do it i feel these manufacturers just feel once in a couple of million units one unit might blast that is the reason they are not quickly moving but i feel to make these batteries safer they should move from the liquid electrolyte to the solid electrolyte and invest in uh, these uh, new technologies and i feel this can only happen when a big uh, uh, company like apple or samsung's uh, moves into this and thereby initiating this and only then the small manufacturers and other vendors might move to this uh, technology uh, so again i'll have links for other uh, stuff in the youtube show notes you can also check out that i hope you found this uh, video helpful and uh, if you found it helpful i'll appreciate if you can click the like button and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video